Happy Saturday, everyone. Thanks for checking out my video. This is Derek the Nitwit, and if this is your first time visiting, welcome, and thanks for coming back to all my wonderful subscribers. Today's been a bit of a lazy day. Just chilled out at home, played with the cat some, worked on my project. Um, unfortunately, my cardigan has become a cardigan to even right now. I got, I was probably about two or three inches into it, and realized that there was a couple glaring holes that I couldn't just go back and fix, you know, sp you know, piece by piece. I had to frog quite a bit of it. And then I ended up having to frog it all the way to the very beginning. And as soon as I uh, took it off the thing and cast on, I couldn't even get a row done without making mistakes. And by the time I was two rows into it, I was just like, you know, I, I can't even deal with it right now. It was my first attempt at making a wearable. I mean, not counting hats and scarves. Generally, I like to do home items like baskets and bags and cat toys and, and things like that. And I also like, sorry, the um, the cat's water fountain's making weird noises. But no, I like to make amigurumi or different or toys for my cats, things like that. So I'm not saying never to the cardigan. I'm just saying that not right now. What I have, I did consider several different projects, including a couple other uh, different cardigans and jumpers, and never found one that I liked. And I ended up going to start with, I'm doing, it's a market bag. And as I'm doing it to the base of it, I was like, you know what, okay, I'm going to, I've got an idea for a, a little area rug. Because I, you know, I have hardwood, not hardwood, they're laminate floors, whatever they fake hardwood floors. And it would be nice to have carpeted area, especially since I'm doing a little sweeper thing. Plus, if I make it out of, you know, if I crochet it, it's something I, I could throw into a washer at the laundromat. So I think that's my next project that I'm going to do. But what I've got so far, oh, hello, Max. Max thinks it's his, you know, perch now. We've got this, so we've got the basic, you know, the base of it. We, and I mean, it's just double stitch or double crochet all through there. And then now it's double crochet, chain one, and up into this part. And this is what we're going up the sides of the bag now. And it'll be that I'm on row nine and it's going to be the same thing until I get to row 32 and then the pattern changes. So, but that's just what, what I've been doing as far as craft-wise. I love my hot cocoa. Actually, it's a hot cocoa and a coffee mix. Um, I can't think, I switch brands, but usually it's a, like a cappuccino powder that you, that's pre-mixed, like hot cocoa. It's not my normal one, but I'm going grocery shopping here the next couple days. I'll get my other one back. So anyway, so people have been asking me the different programs that I've, I've been using to earn rewards and gift cards and things like that. And so I thought I would share them. Now, yesterday I started to make a video, putting all of them in one video, and it was a really long video. And I didn't even have the attention span to finish making the video, let alone expect someone to sit there for 45 minutes of me talking about different programs. So I'm just gonna break it down to several different parts. Today we're just gonna do apps. And we're basically just gonna do the, what I refer to as the, the lazy apps and my shopping apps. So on the, as far as lazy apps, now these are all for Android. App, they may have them for Apple, they probably have them for Apple. And for the most part, I don't have direct links for them. Some of them I do, the ones where I can actually refer refer people to the program. So I'll put, if I have a link for it, then I will put the link in the description down below. If not, you know, I'll let you know and you'll just have to look, go into either Google Play or the App Store to look it up. But the first two, and both of these you will have to go into the App Store or Google Play. It's Mobile Performance Meter and it's by MB. It's E-M-B-E-E -E, is the company that um, that put it out and there's 
several different ones, but it will tell you which one you're, is eligible for your device. I mean, like, because you know when you go into it, it says if your device is compatible. So I use it. No, I lucked out on my very first phone that I put it on, and I earn a decent amount of points on it a day. The rest of my phones, like even my new, you know, the Samsung, the, the S10, when I first got it, I'm in a tiny little tier instead of to where I have one phone that earns me about $50 a month. That's an anomaly. Most of my phones, which I have it on two other, two, three other phones, and they each earn me like 10 maybe $15 a month. But still, I mean, even $10 a month adds up, and that's $10 that, you know, I didn't have to pull out of the grocery budget or, you know, cat toy budget. So, and the other one I use is this app called McMoney. It's M-C-M-O-N-E-Y. What it does is that it's testing email delivery. And, oh, also, the thing on mobile and performance meter, let me back up on that real quick. They're tracking the same information that Google and Apple are already tracking on you. So it's not anything special. They, what data they do take, they anonymize it. So they'll say a 44 year old male watched this YouTube video at this time, or a 44 year old male in Oklahoma city looked up knitting supplies on Amazon. That's, that's all it does. It's not going to say, you know, Derek went to this website, check out, you know, no, they're not putting any identifiable information on it. They do offer surveys as well on mobile performance meter. I, the only time I will ever do the surveys is one, they will do a monthly survey that that one is worth like 50 points or something, but that one I will do, or I will open up my VPN and set my, to where it looks like my phone is out of the country to where I'm immediately getting rejected for each survey because for every survey you get rejected, you get two points. And I would rather get rejected, you know, through three surveys at two points each than in like five minutes than spend 20 minutes doing one survey for 10 points. I mean, it's just, uh, but I, I only get 10 megabytes or not 10 megabytes, 10 gigabytes of data on my, the VPN that I use each month. So I have to wait for it to reset. So no more surveys for me until that resets. Okay, so back with McMoney. This one, it tests uh, um, text message delivery. So I will randomly just get a text message. It's a bunch of gibberish. It doesn't say anything. I mean, it's it'll be symbols and letters and absolutely nothing that has absolutely no meaning. They're just testing message delivery systems. All I do is I get the mess, you know, the alert that I've got a text message. I open the text message, you know, delete it just because I want to clear out my message box. And then I open and close the app. And the reason I open and close the app, close the app is so that I get, you know, like it, I have found that if I don't open and close the app, I won't get another text message until I have. It's not anything, anything where they say that you have to, that's just with the, with the um, Samsung S10, I have to. When I had the, when I was using my LG, I didn't have to do that. Once you get to the text messages, I mean, you only get a couple. Um, I can't remember how much you get for text message, but you get to six dollars and you can cash out. So I've cashed out a couple times. It's a slow earner, but it's not like I have to do anything. That's why I call it a lazy app. Okay. Now for my shopping apps, now the this is where a lot of my um, reward my gift cards come from. The first one is I bought it, and I do have a, a a link that will be down in the description below on that one. And you get rebates for groceries. When I first got it, I would go in and I would scan, I would check before my grocery trip to see if there's anything I wanted that they were offering. Since then, I'm just like I fi I figured out that if I'm in the store as I'm picking the item up to put in my cart, I can scan it in the app and it will immediately search if there's a uh, if they have an offer for it. And so I just scan as I go. Uh, you can cash out at twenty dollars. I have made three hundred and seventy one dollars in the lifetime of, that I've had it, which has been probably three years or so. 
But you know, this, I mean, that's not a lot of money. You're not going to get rich off any of these programs. But it's, I'm, these are groceries I'm going to be buying anyway. I may as well get cash back if I can get cash back for them. Um, excuse me. Um, the only time that I will go in before I go to a store is because they have what they call any item offers. And those, they have one that's called for an any receipt. So just any receipt whatsoever, they'll give me 10 cents for it. But that one doesn't pop up as an offer just by scanning other items. So I always will go in before I go to the store and make, see, if, see if I can cash it, you know, activate an offer for a 10 cent receipt just for scan or 10 cent credit just for scanning a receipt. See if we can get past awkward on that one. Okay, the next one I use is called Receipt Hog. That is one that you will have to look in the in Google Play or in the App Store for it. You scan your receipts. You just open the app, take a picture of your receipt, scan it. I have made about $100 lifetime in it just in a couple of years. I tend to save up until I can get to the higher level of rewards. So I can cash in. Um, I've got enough to cash in, I think, $20 worth. I'm not sure. Um, it's, either, it's either $10 or $20 I've got that I could cash in at any point. I'm just saving till I get to a higher tier. Another one is Receipt Pal. And... That's another one, you're scanning receipts. I mean, when I come home from the grocery store, I go out with my friends and I'm collecting receipts. If someone, if someone in the checkout line ahead of me doesn't take their receipt, I take their receipt. You know. But, yeah, receipt value. You scan the receipt. This one, I recently cashed in $50 to Amazon. I now have enough to cash in for another $25. You can also do gift cards to other stores like Best Buy or Walmart, you know, Old Navy, things like that. I just... Amazon tends to be my go-to. Usually it's going to be Amazon and and Walmart are my go-to stores for gift cards. And I will actually have a link for Receipt Pal that I'll have in, in the description box. Another one is Fetch Rewards. It's, again, you scan receipts. I've cashed in $20 on it so far, and I have $10 available that I can cash in. I just... A lot of these, I wait until I'm desperate for the money before I cash in on them, just because sometimes that ten dollar cushion may be me, you know, maybe what allows me to not live off ramen noodles for a couple days. So, and the last receipt one that I scan is called Coin Out. Now I have not yet cashed out with this one. I trust them. Um, I'm close to cashing out. What it is is when you scan your receipt and you'll get either anywhere from a penny to, you know, five, five to ten cents. A couple times I've seen it, ten or twelve cents. Usually it's somewhere between one and seven cents for each receipt. And you can also forward your email receipt. So like when you shop at Amazon or you shop somewhere online and they email you a receipt, then, excuse me, you can forward those receipts to CoinOut as well and get, and get credit for them as well. And um, I do have a referral link for them. So you can cash out at $20. I'm at $17 and some change. And then the last of the shopping one is National Consumer Panel. It's ncponline.com. And I have a link in the description below. It's not a referral link. It's just a generic one. This is the one I just cashed in to get my sweeper. And... When you first sign up for it, if you don't have a smartphone or if you request it, they'll have an actual handheld scanner. So you can be like in the store with a little scanner or you can wait till you get all your groceries home and scan it. They have an app that you can scan it directly in the app and that's what I do in the store so I don't have to deal with it when I get home. Um, it's nice. You earn a set number of points per week, you know, based on your, how long you've had, like, you know, the first year you're at bronze level, then you're at silver, and, you know, it, that you have it. And so depending on the, the, tier that you're at, which is just based on seniority, um, is how many points that you will earn. As, you know, and that's one I keep forgetting to cash it in. It's like I was saving up actually for a long time for a TV, but I don't need to save my points for TV now. So. Now that's the last of my shopping apps. The last two that I have, uh, the first one is Job Spotter. Now, this is a company that's partnered with Indeed, the, you know, the, the job hunt 
job search board. So if I'm out and, and about running errands and I see a help wanted sign, whether it's at a chain or at a local store, you take a picture of the help wanted sign and then you take a picture of the storefront and you earn Amazon gift card credits. You can also go into the store and verify other people's um, photos. You say that, okay, yes, this is showing the front of the store or, you know, yes, this is showing a help wanted sign. Yes, this is a clear photo, you know, things like that. But I don't do that very often. I generally just take pictures of the help wanted signs. Now, you're going to get more points for like a local store. Say like, you know, a local mom and pop store as opposed to the Walmart help wanted sign because Walmart's help wanted signs are almost always up constantly nowadays. But the mom and pop stores generally only put them up when they're actively searching for people. The only thing you can cash out for right now for them is Amazon gift card credit. But you can cash out as little as a penny. I mean, if you want a one cent gift card. So, and then Google Opinion Rewards. Now, the thing with Google Opinion Rewards is it prime, it is pretty much just credit, you know, you get credit for the Google Play Store. So if you want to buy in-game items or paid games, paid music, things like that, it's going to take it out of your Google Play Store credit that you earn with this. And you don't have to do anything with it. Just every so often it'll pop up and say you've got a survey and it's based off your location. So like, you know, it knows that you've recently been in the parking lot of a, of a Dollar Tree. So I'll ask, did you go to any of these stores and you pick the one that you went to and then it'll ask, you know, did you make a purchase with a debit card or cash or, you know, did you just not enter the store? I mean, you know, they're easy. They're not hard. And they're usually two or three questions. And then you get 10 cents, sometimes 30 cents, depending on, you know, how many, you know, I've gotten a little bit more sometimes by um, taking a picture of my receipt if I still have it. But sometimes those surveys don't show up until the next day so and I don't have a receipt anymore if it's Dollar Tree because I'm not about to take something back to Dollar Tree um, now the reason I like it one I mean I can buy in-game items for some of the games that I play or I can get you know movies and music and audio or ebooks things like that but they have a program called ScreenWise Trends now you have to be invited to ScreenWise I can't refer you to it and the only way since um, Google has acquired, because ScreenWise used to be Cross Media Panel, and I'm not sure how I ever got involved in the very first place, but I know that I was part of it was Cross Media when I first signed up. Since Google acquired it, it has become ScreenWise Trends, and the only way to get into the program is if they invite you. And from what I understand, is you have a better chance of getting invited if you're part of Google Opinion Rewards. So if you have an Android phone, may as well use Google Opinion Rewards. Um, now the thing with ScreenWise is I get I install the app on my phone and the browser extension, and I mean it's not on my phones and on my tablet. And that, so I earn two dollars a week doing nothing. It just sits there. Um, so those are the apps that I use. Right now, I mean, there are the apps that I've other apps that I've done in the past that you know I've gotten since gotten rid of, and some of them are good. Some of them I just they weren't worth it for me. Some of them were a little bit scammy. I know that there's the one that you you check into a store and then you scan items in the school store, and I know a lot of other people have had good luck with it. I just have never had good luck with it. I mean, I have so many other apps that it's just I'm not going to spend half an hour going all over the store looking for, you know, five items to scan. Um, but someone that's going to do, because I generally, when I'm going into Walmart, I'm going to a couple set stores. I don't wander the whole store. A lot of people, when they're going into Walmart, they are wandering the whole store, so it would be worth it for them. So, but yeah, there's a lot of, like, I generally, you know, I found all these mainly by searching reward programs. You search on, um, Google Play or even just do a Google search form. But these programs that the apps that I've mentioned today, they are ones that I have kept with the exception of Coin Out, they're ones that I have actually cashed out on. Coin Out, I haven't cashed yet, but I'm at my first one. If um anything if I have any issue cashing out with it, I definitely would come back and let y'all know. Um I'm not getting paid to tell you guys about any of these. Um 
the one, some of these, the one that I have a link for, you know, I, I do get referral points if you join based on my referral thing. So I'll have that little disclaimer on this video. But, I mean, I know the vast majority of y'all are in the same spot I am where, you know, every little bit helps. And I mean, five bucks a month, you know, can be a huge amount. So, you know, my air freshener just scared the crap out of me. So, anyway, this video's been going on for about 20 minutes, and that's long enough. So, that's where I am today, and hopefully I'm going to get to go out and run errands with David and Jack tomorrow. If not, then I'll sit at home and work on my bag, and then when I get done with the bag, I'll start working on the rug, and... I will check in with you guys again tomorrow and in a couple of days I will put up another one talking about the websites that I use online to get reward points. Have a great evening.